Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number three of Pac-Man, and uh, of course this is now episode number one, technically, of the gold edition of Pac-Man. We've uh, we brought across 50,000 coins from my main account, as per the request in the comment section on the previous episode. I have to say a huge thank you to you guys for the uh, response you gave the video. There's almost 30 comments, and uh, pretty much, I'd say 90 to 95% of those were take option two, which was of course bring some cash across from my main account jump straight to gold on next gen and uh, we will carry on the series as of there but we uh, fortunately have a gold season ticket pack and uh, we're actually going to open that on screen we actually get Jackson Martinez which is a decent start to be completely honest and a dead day so uh, two nice players in that one and I've kind of cut together the uh, I think uh, seven or eight different packs I was able to open with uh, seven and a half thousand coins I think I've got two four six seven and a half thousand coin packs and one 5,000 coin pack if my maths is correct and uh, then of course the season ticket pack as well meant that we opened 8 packs we're in this first 7.5k pack we open we actually get a Theo Walcott which is very very nice indeed to complement that we also get another English player Bradley Wright Phillips now in the MLS moved from Charlton and we also get a Ricardo Carvalho as well as a couple of nice kits as well made those two kits active there's a fine old away kit which is green uh, green top with white sleeves and then the Liverpool home kit of course is red and then in the second pack or third pack technically where we get Chabby Pri Prieto and Bichetti, two very, very good players. Uh, Xavi Prieto doesn't have the best, the, uh, the best pace in the world, but he does have decent dribbling and a very good eye for a decent pass as well. So hopefully he can do the job in that cam roll. And then next pack, we actually don't get too much in this one, uh, although three, two centre-backs and two left-backs. So they will come in handy. At least we get a kind of a solid defence out of that. Grant Christ and Ainsey probably won't be in too many starting lineups, but Digne and Sequeira will be involved in squads right from the off. So we're into pack number one, two, three, four, maybe now, five perhaps. And we actually get Alberta Aquilani and Peter Crouch. Now, Pouch, Pouch, Crouch, of course, is English and Premier League, so we'll link up very well with Theo Walcott and uh, Bradley Wright Phillips, who we pulled a couple of packs ago. So that, again, is a decent signing, as is Aquilani. Again, not the fastest, but decent dribbling and an eye for a pass. So we're getting players of the same ilk and the same sort of nationality or league. And then we get another Premier League player, Daniel Agger, as well as another nationality, a Danish centre-back to go alongside him, as well as Pereira, another left mid from Serie A, and Marco Anatovic, another Stoke player and another Premier League player. So we're... Uh, Players are pretty much decent so far when it comes to uh, to chemistry. We've got two packs left to open, one 7.5k pack and one 5,000 coin pack. In the last 7.5k, we get El Hero Elia and also more Serie A and Premier League players. Very, very pleased indeed. Elia obviously has loads of pace, five-star skills. He's extremely good indeed. And then uh, Rolando is a decent, solid centre-back. Obviously moved from Porto to Inter Milan in the summer. We also get the Emirates to, uh, to make that our home stadium and of course Derek Boateng was there as well again Premier League will link up well with Theo Walcott Marco Anatovic Peter Crouch etc so they will be going into one of the squads that we're going to build and in the final pack we actually pull a Gamberini again Italian and Serie A Verratti again Italian and unfortunately the third player is a Voronin uh, Ukrainian from the Russian League so it won't really fit into anything we have to offer so far but this is the best squad that I've been able no not the best squad this is the second best squad that I've been able to build so far so you can see we didn't pull any goalkeepers whatsoever unfortunately we've got Sequeira and Dede at left back and left centre back then Bichetti and Digne with uh, no actually we actually don't have any right backs bronze, silver or gold so I uh, put Digne at right back with uh, Verratti in front of them obviously linking up with the Italian link and the French link then Xavi Prieto Grosskreutz and Elia round out the midfield with Jackson Martinez up top and then the best squad chemistry wise again it's a 3-5-2 formation this time we've got Gamberini Rolando and Daniel Agger at centre back with Aquilani and Derek Boateng holding rounding out the midfield we have Pereira Theo Walcott and Marco Anatovic with Bradley Wright Phillips and Peter Krauts up top so uh, it's better chemistry wise but uh, there are some players that we haven't used in either squad that I'm going to flick through here on the bench now if you are able to, uh, to perhaps build a squad with any of the players that we have on show here on uh, on foothead etc then feel free to link me to that on twitter at chesnoy gaming is my twitter handle there will be a link to it in the description so feel free to link me that and uh, i will most definitely use them in the series because i'm not the best when it comes to being creative with a squad and putting uh, you know different players in different formations with different uh, links etc so if you see a squad use your intuition you see a squad let me know what that squad is either in the comment section down below or of course like i say on twitter and i will most definitely use it but that is going to bring this first episode of the gold edition to a close it is of course pac-man season 2 episode 3 so if you missed the last episode there will be a link to that 
over the pink ghost as an annotation. If you aren't subscribed already, then feel free to do so. Again, there'll be an annotation on screen over the Pac-Man and a link in the description. And uh, there is, of course, plenty of Xbox One content going on on my channel, Ultimate Team and Career Mode, which will be returning tomorrow with uh, another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will leave it here for now. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a shorter episode, but the next one will have some gameplay with these gold players. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.